Oh, g'day guys, it's Sam here from Built Not Bought and today we have Jared's GU coil cab. This patrol I spotted a while ago but it was all the way over east. I'm from WA, he's in Queensland. But I'm here today and I'm going to show you all through it. Now it's no stranger that I know and love patrols and I know I know a good one when I see it. And let's without further ado get straight into this one, starting with the front of this thing. Now, Jarrah has actually custom made everything on this, starting with the bull bar. Full tube custom made bull bar and that's to house this massive winch. Now this is a worn winch, it's got 76mm wider track on it as well and it also has air spool. Now with the air spool that means you can basically sit in the car when your mate runs the rope out, you just hit the button, locks back into the clutch and then you can run straight back in so you don't have to sort of get your mate to come back and hook it back in. Awesome bit of kit that. Coming around the side, custom made sliders as well, protecting all along the sides. On the bonnet there's a Fairline uh, bonnet scoop there for the top man intercooler. There's also fabulous fabrication stainless steel 4 inch snorkel and a curved 52 inch light bar on top. Running down the side again is actually, this is a cool idea, I want to do this on my car. Basically running that like sort of rock slider hoop back into the tray to protect all the sides there. Now this whole tray has been custom made as well. So it's full steel construction but it's also got the aluminium bed to save the weight there. So this tray he's chopped and changed, he's actually bought the back in here, I've noticed that this is sort of different, a lot of guys don't do this stuff and I like the way it looks, he's actually kind of curved the back end around, almost sort of matching what the front does with the bull bar, so it's actually got that sort of chopped in side look. And in the back, there is a rear drawer to put all recovery gear and stuff, LED reverse lights and indicators and tail lights as well. Underneath the tray there's also a bit of fabrication going on there, there's a whole lot of stainless sort of storage, there's a water tank in this one and then a, a sort of a, a cubby holder in that one to put you know bits and pieces and stuff in there. He's also made these flares now this thing flexes like a sick giraffe and the reason for it is actually a bit of height under there so it looks like the flare finishes there but this wheel can tuck right up and you probably saw in the video on the first part that this rim comes all the way up to that flare there it looks bloody amazing and then there's just a, a short canopy on the tap on the top there so you'd have your fridge all your stuff you want to keep dry in there there's a bit of electrics going on as well the storage on the back side plenty of room in there We'll show you on the other side what the, what's going on there with the electrics. All right, so on this side, there's obviously the water container at the back there and uh, storage under here. The other side of the canopy, this is where there's the fridge. Up in the corner there, there's a power box as well. So you've got um, some outlets for chargers, a couple of LED lights for camping and that. Also in here is actually got a rescue swag uh, first aid kit, basically. These have only just come out, but super critical when you're going out bush. So it's good he's got that, all about that safety. There's also a fridge that's got a drop down slide as well. Oh, I hope they don't. Oh, there we go, she's down. Angle fridge. What size is that? 42 litre fridge. Jeez, I need to get myself one of these. All right, we'll go under the bonnet. All right, under the bonnet. TD42 in here. It's got a PWR intercooler. Now, Jared's actually made those um, tanks on the side there himself. He's done a lot of fab work under here with bracketing. There's also a custom made air box that he built himself. Bit of electrics going on as well. There's the winch wiring, some fuse box there. There's an isolator for that winch. It's uh, an all bright um, controller under there as well to control the in and out of the winch. Now that's actually hardwired into the cab, so I'll show you that when we go inside. Um, also, the turbo is a performance 4x4 18G turbo. It's putting out about 36 psi of boost. I hope that was right. Putting out 32 psi of boost. That's powered by a Diesel Solutions 12 mil pump. Now with all that, the power it's putting out is about 217 horsepower and 610 newton meters, but that is on 37 inch tires. So she goes pretty hard. He's been down to a few little drag races here and there at some um, meetups and that. And um, obviously we got the challenges after this, so we'll see how it goes at that. Definitely pulls this truck along quite well. So we'll jump inside and see what's going on in there. All right inside the vehicle. GME UHF radio. Up the top here there's a custom made roof console. Four switches ready for all your accessories. There's um, also a switch for the front locker in there and the compressor which is behind my seat. There's an ARB compressor there. Um, there's also the fire extinguisher back there as well and some stereo stuff. There's an amp, sub um, for the tunes basically. Being a ute it's pretty good that you squeeze that in there. Um, also got your exhaust temperature gauge, boost gauge, water temps up there, 
Um, now those winch controllers there in here as well, so there's the in-out, also the air spool for that. This has cruise control, so it's sort of sort of factory for patrols, but it's been added into this one, so you know it's a manual, but it's still got that cruise control. So when you're on the highway, you can sort of lock it into you know top gear and just cruise along. I need one, but he's got one, so at least at least you know it's doable. There's plastic lining on the roof and doors. First thing I noticed when I jumped in this car, but um, it was done before. It sort of Jared owned it. But um, it's sort of served a good purpose because it keeps it damn clean, that's for sure. Anything, any mud on there can just wipe straight off. Yeah, so it's got the nav man up there for on-road maps and also acts as a speedo as well. All right, last thing to look at basically is suspension. Now it's currently got a seven inch lift, 37 inch tires. Usually it's got a four inch lift in it, but it's gone up to the seven for a few little things coming up here and there. The rims are method racing uh, beadlock rims and then the tires are the 37, 12 and a half, 17. So suspension on the back, it's all superior there, it's got the superior long arms, upper adjustable arms, cause the Dobson coils, same with the front, that's got Dobsons on there as well. There's superior engineering drag link and tie rod, and um, the PSR long arm radius arm kit. And there's also the Fox shocks uh, steering dampener. The shocks are pro comp, so it's got 12 inch travels in the front, 14 inches in the rear. Uh, that's pretty much wraps up for the suspension. The diffs have been strengthened, so it's got the um, diff bracing kit on the front there. Also a pumpkin bash guard. Exhaust runs through under there as well. So that's a three and a half inch exhaust straight through from the dump pipe. Underneath there, you can't really see it, but he's also got a second battery under the tray there. And uh, that sort of wraps it up from underneath the car. So the only last thing to do is basically give this thing a drive and then it's time for the challenges. All right, let's take this thing for a drive. I should feel right at home here being a patrol. So uh, looking forward to this one. But straight away I notice how big it is. And it's a diesel. So there's a couple of firsts we're happening right now. It's the first patrol that I've shot, surprisingly. And um, first TD42. Not the first diesel, of course. But um, we'll see how she goes. So I think I'm used to what, a four inch and 35. So we've got seven inches and 37s right now. Bad point. It's a bit of a boat. She's a bit top heavy, sway bars aren't in at the moment, as you probably noticed by how much flex the thing's got. But um, yeah, she kind of floats over everything, but it's a bit woo, like this around corners. So it spools up fairly early as well, which is nice. The 18 g turbo. Well, oh, a bit of terrain coming up. Yeah, see the lift is good for clearance and things like that, but um, vision, not the greatest. As soon as the bonnet starts, you know, pointing towards the sky, all you can see is sky. <laughs> this is some beautiful landscape, though. oh my god. Oh, there's the power. Alright, we're on top of the world here, I think it's time to hand it back over and do some challenges. Okay, time for the challenges. So, you probably know what they are by now, but we've got four, so there's the sprint, Comfort suspension challenge, um, then there's economy and flex. So we'll get started with the sprint. So basically, I'm going to pace out 100 meters, and it's pretty much when you drop the hammer, pedal right. to the metal, and go. Feeling yep. confident about this? What do you reckon it'll do? Yeah, be interesting. See how it goes. Big tyres. Yeah, a little bit of a setback, but yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Oh, you got a nice bit of road here, nice gravel terrain. So you get, what are you going to go? Four-wheel drive, low range, high range? Yeah. What do you reckon? I'll probably just start off in low range and give it all the Low bonus. range? Hope yeah. you don't run out of the legs at the end. Yeah, she'll be right. 100 metres isn't that far, so we'll see how we go. Alright, let's get into it. at the camera. 818. Not too bad for 37s. Just saw soot. 818. Not bad for 37s. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, goes hard. Alright. Suspension, I guess. Yeah. Let's do it. Alright. How was that drag race? That's good. Threw off a bit of dust. It looked awesome. Alright, so the next challenge is a comfort challenge. Basically, you see we've filled up the water on the top there, so Nothing too scientific, but you basically got to get to 50 kilometers an hour, brake again how you like, whether it's hard, slow, soft, whatever, yep. and um, just see what's left in the tank. 
No, no. Sound good? Have a go. Let's do that. Oh my god! I thought more would come out to be honest. <laughs> What's that? What percentage do you reckon that is? How much is it? Oh, it's about 70, 75, 76. Something like that, yeah. We'll go 77. Yeah. <laughs> Smidge it up a bit, that'll work. 77% remaining, we'll go with that. Alright, so that's 77% we'll call it on the suspension. So fairly good result. Yeah, on to the next challenge. What do we got left? Flex and economy. All right, up to the flex ramp challenge, basically told Jared, we've got to reverse up the ramp as high as we can go. He's probably feeling confident about this one because this thing has a load of flex. I've seen photos of it, so high hopes. Hopefully, he can get up there pretty high. <laughs> You're almost at the top. That's crazy. Hey, you've killed that. No one's going to come close to that ever again. That's like almost comp truck spec. 840 mil. 840 mil. I think the highest so far has been like 550. <laughs> Smashed it. Alright, so as usual, before we get out for the day, we're going to start filling by filling it up so we can work out the economy. So make sure this thing's topped all the way up. It's in your best interest to make sure it's full. <laughs> This one's got two tanks, being a patrol, it's got the sub and the main, so we're probably going to fill up both of them, make sure it's topped up because sometimes they like automatically transfer across, so to make sure it's accurate, I'm going to get both tanks full and then at the end make sure both tanks are full as well. Alright, we're back at the servo after a day of wheeling, as you can tell, pretty filthy. Check the auto and it's bang on 100 k's, which makes the mass pretty easy if we're working out litres per 100. So pretty much however many litres goes in this thing is how much fuel is used over 100 kilometres. Something's not right there. No, that's it, 30 litres per 100. There we have it. 30 litres per 100, so I don't buy a TD42. That can't be right. No. All right, so he almost rolled it over and some fuel came out. Oh, well. It is what it is. Alright, now taking a look at the rig rundown challenge results for Jared in the sprint, coming in third place with an 818, tucking in nicely behind Zach there. With the comfort challenge, another third place there, also behind the newer Ford Ranger. But then when it comes to flex, he's blown everyone out of the water with an 840 millimeter flex ramp challenge. And then finally, with uh, well, let's see the bad economy 30 liters per hundred. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and uh, leave a comment below what you liked about Jazz GU Patrol. And um, I'll see you guys in the next Rig Rundown video. Take it easy. Peace. I've just spent three months doing engine upgrades on my motor here. And I've been told I'm not allowed to turn the key until you press subscribe. Please press subscribe. <laughs>